The Chinese Crested makes everyone stop and take notice. You can't walk down the street with a Chinese Crested without having at least one person say, oh my gosh, what is that? But did you know that the crest in their name refers to the plume of hair on the top of their heads? And that unlike most dogs, they have sweat glands and don't pant to regulate their temperature. Or that many are allergic to wool. Hey. Or that they have won more ugly dog contests than any other breed. The Chinese Crested is, is a, you know, a funny looking dog to me. Sorry guys. Ugly? No, they're not ugly. No, they're cute. And it was one American burlesque beauty, Gypsy Rose Lee, that brought this breed to fame. She was one of the first breeders in the U.S. Many Cresteds today can be traced back to her. Some think this breed is a cousin of the Mexican Xolo Eats Queenly and the Chihuahua, <laughs> tracing its origins to the Aztecs. Others believe that Chinese traders discovered the Crested on the shores of Africa and brought them to ports and traded them around the world. This dog was made famous for actually going out on the ships with the Chinese merchants and being a ratting dog or a vermin dog, chasing down the, the rats during the plague times. And their hairless skin meant fewer hiding places for fleas. Come on, you can do it. Every Chinese crested carries a recessive gene for a long, silky double coat. So within the same litter, you may find the powder puff. Which is um, a dog who to most people would look sort of like a skinnier, taller Maltese. The genes for hair and teeth are linked. So the better a crested's hair, the better their teeth. It's a small, lean dog that is recognized in any color or pattern. The Chinese crested has the ratter's pointed muzzle. Most notable is their namesake crest, or long, fine hair on their heads. Add these furry leg warmers, and you've got a pooch who'd be happy in an 80s hairband. And their long, tapered tail may be only partially covered. Like other dogs of the toy class, the Chinese Crested will be your constant companion and the center of attention. Chinese Cresteds are good with families, and because of their low exercise requirements, they're good with the elderly and disabled. Especially for such a small breed, they're, they're not that barky, so you can live very comfortably and quietly with them in an apartment. Keep in mind that their exposed skin makes them susceptible to the elements. They require sunscreen and perhaps a sweater to keep them warm. And while there may not be much combing in your future, Believe it or not, these dogs will actually get blackheads in their skin that you have to remove. It's almost like a person would get a facial, or this dog gets a facial on its body. The Chinese Crested is plagued by skin problems. They're very susceptible to rashes. Many of them have allergies to wool, um, and they are very susceptible to sunburn. So, in general, the Chinese Crested thrives in apartment living. The hairless variety is prone to skin problems. Cresteds need sunscreen and occasional combing. A constant companion, they benefit from early socialization. Cresteds are excellent for all types of families, including the elderly and disabled. You know, I judge a dog on its cuddle factor, and to me, this is a dog that will get right up under your chin and just love you up all day, and in my opinion, what's ugly about that?